The following is a non-profit fan-based parody, Death Note is owned by Funim Nation, Madhouse, Viz Media, Don't Swim, and Takashi Obata. Please support the official release. Ripenber is dead. The police force is torn. Kira is becoming a more prominent member of society. What arises in the future for- I thought you were gone! Well, you thought wrong, slut. I'm doing the monologue for this in-between story. I don't want you doing anything! I thought I got rid of you! Again, no. As we've said before, therapy does nothing. Well, you listen to me, this is my head, and if we're gonna share it, we're gonna live by my rules. I'll live by no such rules. I establish them here. Yeah, nothing but a figment of my imagination, fueled by bad apples. Will that be the game, or just rotten apples? You know, I'm really not sure anymore. Ryuk, if you're done, can we please get started on what we need to do today? Besides, why does it have to be now? I'm starving. Well, if you didn't throw up that meal I just made for you, you wouldn't have this problem, you ungrateful schmuck! Well, I'm sorry, but anyone who saw those things would do the same, you freaky hag. Hey, what's going on? Light, save me. Mom is wanting me to take Dad her dirty- Just stop right there. Just stop? No. I need to talk to Dad anyway, so I can take it. Just don't tell me what's in there. Please, do not tell me what is in that bag. You saved me yet again, Light Yagami. Come on, just a whiff. Probably smells like sakura petals and day-old sushi. First, I don't know what's in there. Second, I don't want to know what's in there. Third, I don't care what's in there. Well, aren't you sassy today? Hey, stop ripping pages out of the Death Note. That doesn't grow on death trees, you know. It's a precaution, just in case. Leave the messages! Hmm, well, Dad's not answering his phone. It must be in a meeting. Ah, the police department. The only place that can blend the smell of black coffee, stale donuts, hobo breath, and social injustices that the so-called media interprets as factual stories. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Yeah. Just calm down. What is it you need exactly? I need to talk to Chief Yagami. I have serious information about Kira to help further the investigation. Oh, really now? All right, man. The chief is currently away right now, but- Then hey. call him! God damn it! Call him! Beep him! Anyway, just fucking reach him! Excuse me. Um, I'm Chief Yagami's son. I have a package for my dad. I, I tried calling, but I think he's away at the moment in a meeting or something. Um, mind if I leave this here for him to pick up later? Sure, young man. Not a problem. What is it? I wouldn't look in there if I was you. It's a private thing from my mom. Oh yeah, we know all about that. We often get calls from her every now and then. Those two seem to have a <laughs> healthy relationship. Yeah, I try to distance myself from that. They tend to be a bit overzealous, you could say. You could also say she sucks more tube than a patient on life support. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm still getting no answer. But if you want, I can leave a message or you- Are you kidding me? I have information that could blow this case wide open. And furthermore- Pardon me, but if you're needing to tell my dad something, I can tell him for you. Sorry, but I need to personally deliver this. Okay, then. Uh, if you'd like, we can wait for him at my house. Uh, he should be home in time for dinner. Okay, Light has officially lost it. You sure that's not a problem? Of course not. My mom wouldn't mind, and my dad will definitely be grateful for the tip. Besides, my mom is making kosher udon, and she tends to get a little carried away when it comes to brisket and noodles. <laughs> eh. Okay, something is definitely wrong. Light trying to tell a joke, which is even more terrible than usual? Thank you. Oh dear God! It can't be! Stampede. Yeah, it was quite the scene, miss. Huh. I just realized something. I don't even know your name. Mine is Light Yagami. My parents named me after- I knew it. This is so adorable. Light is in love. 
Guess it's time we had to talk about the birds, bees, the flowers, and the trees, anal and strap -ons. My name is Shoko Maki. Just call me Sho. Okay, Miss Sho. No, just Sho. Ah, uh, soon they'll be going on dates, eating ice cream, fisting each other. Oh, to be young and alive. Well, that went well. I feel she played a bigger role, but no one will remember throughout the rest of the story or even care to. Oh well, uh, Ryu, what would you like to get on the way home? Light, did you really just ask me that? It's apples. The answer is always apples. Hey everyone, this is Remy. Just wanting to say thank you again for watching and just to let you know that we have more episodes coming out soon. We've just had a bit of a rough month getting things done as well as getting some new people on board to help us out with voice acting and also training new people to come help me do the editing and whatnot so I can pump this stuff up faster. Um, expect quite a bit to come out in the following month and sorry about this shorter episode compared to most of the stuff we do when it spans about 10 to like 20 minutes. Just know we got some more stuff coming and stay tuned for more. But if you're like me and you need to binge watch videos while you do stuff because you're a multitasker and you have no life and no soul, go check out the rest of our videos that we have on our channel. Or you can go check out Pelke, whom we use a lot of music from. He's got some great stuff. Go check him out. Spread the love, spread the love. Anyway, I'm out.